machine is on the march again. Leicester Fan TV presents a variety of content, like fan discussions, match analysis, and engaging with Leicester fans worldwide. We want your views live. Thanks to our sponsors, Everotts, Bolo Blinds, Pucker Pies, Pink Car Leasing, Distillers Direct, Hologram, Take Me, Nubian Co, and the Foxes Arms and Rainbows. We are live in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Leicester Fan TV. It's another match reaction just three days after the last one. The last one was a loss to Bristol City. We were very down in the dumps and uh, we went on for about 45 minutes. So I don't think this one will be just as long as that. However, we have another reaction and it's 3-1. A 3-1 win for Leicester City today versus Norwich. Leicester 3, Norwich 1. Um, one comment I see already in the chat, which I'm going to get up on screen straight away, is this. Finally, yes, finally a win. Finally a performance that we can actually be pleased with, I'd say. Um, even the Sunderland game was our last win. We couldn't really be pleased with that performance, could we? Because I didn't think it was that good. Um, but it was a good performance today. There's no beating around the bush in terms of that. Um, I, I can't complain about that. Um, a couple of iffy moments. Obviously, they go 1-0 up. Terrible defending from the corner. Um after the, their goal, they, they nearly got us again, to be honest with you. They went for the jugular. They couldn't quite get it. Um, and we were able to kind of find our way back into the game. Uh, obviously, good play for the first goal for us, which was uh, Dewsbury Hall, um, a header back down in, into Mavadidi. Uh, and then talking to Mavadidi, he gets our second to make it 2-1. Um, great goal again. You know, what we see Mavadidi do a lot this season, kind of cut inside and, and bend it into the right, the, the far corner with his right foot. And then a lot of, uh, a couple nervy moments between then and, and the end of the game. But obviously, ultimately, we uh, we won the game 3-1 with a uh, third goal. Uh, thanks to Jamie Vardy, who'd just come off the bench about, what, 10, 15 minutes beforehand. Um a tap in for him, but we know Jamie Vardy, he doesn't care what type of goal he scores, whether it's a 35-yard volley against Liverpool or if it's a tap in against Norwich. He just doesn't care and neither do we. So there's another goal for Jamie Vardy's tally and he continues his uh, he continues his form of his best ever goal per minute ratio in his career. That's this season. Um, so come and have your say. Let me know what you think to the game. It'd be really interesting to see what people want to say. Um, I'm also putting a link in both chats, Facebook and YouTube. So it looks like this on Facebook. It looks like this on YouTube. Just click the link. Come and have your say. Let us know what you thought to the game. It'd be really interesting to hear that. Um, be hit, it'd be interesting to hear the contrast compared to last week. So let's get through some of the comments. Mark is here. That's better. Afternoon. Afternoon to you, Mark. Thanks for joining as always, mate. Um, it was better. Absolutely. Another Facebook user here says, huge boost. We have to keep this standard to the end of the season. Keith says, 3-1 and top play in the Enzo way. Uh, Facebook user here says, great win, big sigh of relief. Fans were great. Uh, we'll talk about the fans soon, um, whoever this is, because just before our first goal to equalise, there was a bit of... Um, there was a lot of groaning and sarcasm. Yeah, basically sarcasm. Uh, from the fans, from the crowd, cheering forward passes. Um, and it did lead to our goal. So we're, we're going to talk about that. Let me know what you thought to that. Uh, Scooby Baz says, hi, Lox. Hi to you, Scooby. Um, there's the comment from Callum. Amanda says, hi, Lox. Hope you're doing good and a great win. Yeah, it was always good after a win, Amanda. Absolutely. Nick says, it's a relief. It is a relief, Nick. Nick, you love having your same mate. Come and click this link. Come and have a chat. Um Scooby Spaz says, I know he won, got no problem, but do you think substitutes could have come on again a bit earlier? And yes, I know Vardy sub, he's won the game. Just ask him what you think. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say we could have brought them on a bit earlier. Um, I'd say the Vardy Daka sub, definitely. But then you kind of think, well, is Enzo managing Vardy's minutes? Is that why he came on a bit later than we would have originally hoped? Potentially, that's why, um, because the only other option was Nacho. Where's Tom Cannon, by the way? Is he injured? 
Is Tom Cannon injured? Because, again, he doesn't make the bench. Um, Dawn says, thank goodness for that result. A Ahmed says, massive win. Uh, AMP underscore edit says, good win. We've got on long uh, we've gone on long winning streaks before why not finish with seven more wins i mean it's definitely doable it's definitely doable i don't think we'll do it i don't think we'll do it but it's doable we know it's doable and um, by the way amp edit underscore edits i love uh, that i've seen that Modric edit before so if that was you mate nice one let me know and uh I'll get in touch with you because I would like a new wallpaper for my phone, maybe, so you could do a good edit for me. Uh, Hassan says, Fatou looked okay in bits, but he still needs to take on his man more. Um, well done today, but Leicester fans are like babies, locks. Can you explain the empty seats? Um, empty seats. There weren't many empty seats, were there? I didn't see many empty seats at all, mate. So I, I literally don't know what you're talking about. Um if you're talking about five minutes before the half time and five minutes after the half time, then maybe because the queues in the concourse at Leicester are shocking. You need to literally go down maybe 10 minutes before half time to get a beer, and then you're probably stuck in the queue till 10 minutes afterwards. But uh, empty seats, I don't know what you're talking about, to be honest with Jason. I think you're speaking out your ass. Um, RM says, still going to finish third. No, there we go. We love it. We do, we do like a bit of negativity. Um, but um, uh, you know, I understand where you're coming from. I do, because we're saying that we're capable of going on a seven-game winning streak now. We're also capable of losing against Birmingham, right? Let's not get that twisted. That is possible. So, RYF says, good win, good effort. For me, Akinbae is better than Daka, though don't offer much. No Vardy, we don't look the same. Right, let's get let's get Nick into the chat. Uh, let's get Nick into the, onto the show. Um, I want to get his thoughts on this comment, mate. Hello, Nick. How are you doing? Uh, good win, good effort. For me, I can buy is better than Dakar. What were you both on par? Let's let's start with that, mate. Um, what what did you think to Dakar today? Weren't in the game. Yeah, <laughs> big lumps. He weren't in the game, was it? Do you do you? And then think, one chance you, he did you... have. One chance he did have. Sorry, mate. I didn't mean to cut you off. Right. Um, one chance he did have. He fluffed it. So yeah. Do you think uh, maybe the reason Enzo goes for Dakar is probably because of the the pressing? He he is a good presser. We can admit that he's a good presser. It's just obviously yeah, but so is uh, so is Varda. Varda's yes. a good presser. Um, yeah. I think it was more he went with Dakar today because he didn't think Vardy could do two ninety minutes you know in the space of three four days. I don't think you know that's probably why he's done it today. And and you'd rather have Vardy as an option off the bench rather than Dakar as an option off the bench, I assume. Exactly. Um, let's in general, mate. What did you think? Because obviously, I mean, you as well as me, we were like super negative, and we had, you know, we had the right to be after the Bristol City game. Um, f I thought it was a an improved performance, definitely. I think the first twenty minutes we were poor. Yeah. Um, I think, as I say, the Norwich goal. It was soft, but it's one of them. But as soon as the Doosby Hall goal went in, I think that's it. We bossed the game for the rest of the game. I think that kind of knocked the stuff in out of Norwich. I don't think it helped them either that they had to make a substitution ridiculously early as well. Yeah. So, but hey, it's what we wanted. It's three points. Um, Enzo, hell must have frozen over. He made five changes today. So that's a scary thought. <laughs> Crowd was 32,000. And what's our capacity, Nick? 32,000. 32, yeah, it's like just like... It's like it, was like, it, was, it was literally just under 32,000. I think it was like 31,500 or something. Yeah. There but, we go. So, um... but the comment you said about the crybabies and stuff like that, I ain't being funny. We're, we're the ones who pay our money. We're the ones who, you know, buy the merchandise, buy the match tickets, etc., etc. I think we're Jason, who made full, the comment, is a Leeds we're fan. We're full within. A, I don't care. I'm. I'm full. We are full within our rights to moan if we're not happy with what we're seeing. Bearing in mind the last game we won was Sunderland at the beginning of March. Yeah. 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 You know. It's, I, I it's think what it is. If Jason is a Leeds fan, tell me if I'm wrong, Jason. But I think if Leeds went, if Leeds won one in the next five games, he'd probably be a little bit pissed off too, mate. Then there'd be Leeds crybabies. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and Didi was good today. Feeding Fatuu, who was also good today. Um, Nick, I kind of I do I do like the little combination between Fatuu and, and and Didi. We've we've seen it all season, kind of 
playing one twos and normally it kind of goes out to Fatawu. He plays a little through ball into Ndidi who crosses it in. Um, the crosses really didn't pay off too much today besides the, the Mavadidi, uh, the Dewsbury Hall goal. But I do like them two playing together on that right hand side. I think it would benefit that sort of style would benefit more if you've got a Vardy starting or even a Tom Cannon Tom starting. Cannon, yeah. It, you know, who can attack those crosses in, in the box. Um, but fair play to KDH, he put it away well. He did all right. Um, he's probably my player of the game as well. I think he's my man of the match, KDH. I think he did really well today. First yeah. time in a long time, to be fair to him. Um, I don't know if you noticed it, but I noticed it, that it's before and the crowd were going nuts before... You know, so that Fatou was on the ball because it was just going down the middle and we weren't getting any joy. As soon yeah, as we yeah. went on the wing, we got the ironic cheers. Yes, yeah. So I, sp- yeah, I spoke about that a second ago just before you joined me. Um, there were sarcastic cheers just before the first goal, our first goal. Uh, and there were groans and sarcastic cheers. And obviously, then that's when the goal came. Um, I- I've seen a tweet. I don't know. I can't. I don't know if I can get it up, but basically, um, Someone said, uh, "Is somebody? Is somebody from media? I can't remember who it is. Talk sports, something like that." Um, they said that there were um, Henry Winter, not Talk Sports. Sorry, who's Henry Winter for? Do you know? Isn't he the, is time, he, isn't he the Times or something? He's a correspondent for one of the summit the like broadsheets, isn't he? He said that Enzo reacted to some of the on set you know the the kind of groans and sarcastic cheers i don't know how he reacted whether he acknowledged them or what um so but i mean they're not stupid they're not deaf like they they know what's going on in the crowd the players and the manager they all well, they always fast know what's cooked his ears, so exactly you know. i i think about fast is a tit mate i really do i don't know how he can do that because he's been our worst defender in recent in recent times you he, know what? If he, if he wants to, if he wants to do that, and Enzo yeah. wants to react to the fans, I'm not being funny, but we're the guys who pay your bloody wages. Now, yep. if you're in a job and you're not doing your, you know, your job well, what happens? You get sacked. Simple as. Yep. So I don't care. They're the ones who put themselves wanted to be managers and professional footballers. They're the ones who put themselves in that limelight. So they're there for their head to be on the chopping block. I was on Phil's show this morning. As much as I think Vardy's probably the greatest of Leicester player I've ever seen in my lifetime, which mm-hmm. he probably is just, yep. for me, on Friday, he was poor and he deserves the criticism for Friday's yep. performance. You know, he's he redeemed got the reception himself today. He, he did, and he redeemed himself, didn't he? So it is what it is. But I, now I think... we should kick on. Yeah, mate. I don't know about you. Look, some people will say it's well, you shouldn't have sentiment and all that. But I think Jamie Vardy is probably the only person in that starting eleven where they could score two own goals, and I, I don't think that anybody would. They wouldn't hold a grudge. You know what I mean? They wouldn't hold a grudge. For Vardy me, was uh... criticised after the game, but mm. today he came on the pitch and before he scored, this was before he was even on the pitch. The whole, the whole ground are obviously shouting his name um, because he's deserved it. He's deserved. Yeah, but Even I suppose that's because you see, you've seen what da- you've seen Daka for the best part of what eighty minutes. Yeah, not really doing a lot, and at least with Vardy, he gives you that a bit of aggression and tracking down. You know that fight, fighting spirit. He's probably down the can of Red Bull before getting on the pitch, getting himself jollied up. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. that's why we love him. Um, who is your man of the match, mate? Is it just real? Yeah, I think, I, think he was, I think he was good. I think he was good. I think he he was. He sort of marshaled everything today, didn't he? Whether it was forward on, you know, he, he was really played really well. You know, I think he did really, really well. You can't, you can't grumble at that performance today. Um, and Tom Hawk has mentioned Justin. I want to talk about his, you know, his replacement or his backup or whatever. Uh, Doyle. I thought Doyle today was good. I, I didn't think he was going to play, mate. Uh, I thought he still had a suspension from the FA Cup game. No, it was. I think it was only a one, one, one match job. He weren't it? I'm sure it was because it was a straight red. Ah, okay, yeah, of course, course, course. Um, so do you? Uh, yeah, I thought he was good today. Mate. He's got a wand of a left foot. We know that as well. The the diagonal balls he he, he had, you know, cr- just straight across the pitch to to um, Fatou. Obviously, it th- those type of balls we don't see too often uh, in this system. 
and it stretches the pitch. It does stretch the pitch, uh, and it and it and it kind of unsettles settles Norwich. So I, I thought he was good. What did you? He what was about good. You? No, he was he was good. I mean, for me, Doyle should be playing instead of Justin in that position. Anyway, for me, Justin isn't a centre back. Mm. Ironically, Justin looked all right when he came on for Fatsu, who on the right wing. For God's sake, he looked he looked yeah. better on that right side. Um. I would, I would still like to see Cody and the fast myself. I think I still, especially with him cupping his ears, and he he did a few, shall we say, foot in mouth moments with his defending at times today. But I think Cody on the pitch can't be a bad thing. Um, I'm not trying to create an argument here, but I do want to just get an, a, a comment up on the screen that opposes what you said, Nick, just so we can have Go a chat on. about it. Andy said. You sound like a resident talking to a bin man saying we pay their wages. Stop that sort of talk. I couldn't agree. I couldn't disagree more with Andy because I think, I don't know if he's joking or if he's being serious, but we, for me, like we've, we won one game in in five. We've bottled a 17 point lead at the top. You, If you haven't got, you know, that is a reason that is, you're well within your right to, to have your say to, to complain, to to moan, to have a little cry, or you know, have a little a moan about the team when that's happened. Seventeen points, Nick. Surely we've got a right to to say what we want to say about the team after that. I'm not being funny, but at the end of the day, managers come and go, players come and go, owners come and go. Who's there at the end? The people that sit on the seats watching them for ninety minutes every other week at the King Power, or you know, or away wherever they're playing. I think you're well in within your eyes. If you're paying to watch something, you've got if you're not happy with what you're seeing, you fall within your rights to have a moan about it. Mm. You know? Yeah. It is what it is. I mean Ian I think it was Ian who said it. He can he, Andy, he can think that yeah. way. Andy, sorry. He can think that way if he wants to. But I have that, Andy, have it. you never moaned about a you know a Leicester performance or for, for me like, I, I bet mean, you any money, right? You could go yeah. and speak to Phil quickly on chat now, get him to go to fans coming out of the stadium right now and say, as a fan, do you think you're well within your rights to question management and players and stuff like that? And I bet you any money, vast majority of them will say, yeah. So it's not just my mentality and your mentality of thinking. I think it's football fans in general. Yeah, yeah. Um, TJ Blue said needs to get behind the team now. They showed today they want this. Yeah, did did you see uh, a change in mentality as well? From the, you know, let's not talk about performance, but mentality wise, besides the fast incident, which I thought was just stupid. Um, I said on overall, Phil's show. I said yeah. on Phil's show. I said as long as the fans will see that they're giving it a go and trying, they'll get the atmosphere of the King Power and it will rock. That's what's happened today. You, they, they were going for it, they were trying for it, and you could see and hear the King Power rocking. So that's all I expect from the players, Locks. I'm not yeah, yeah. expecting I'm not expecting us to go out and win the Premier League every season. I'm not expecting us to win the championship. Because as long as I can say, do you know what? I've had eleven men on that pitch that I'm watching that are fighting for the badge and fighting for the fans, I'm a happy boy. That's all uh, I ever Andy- want. Yeah, there's the link, Andy, mate. I'll I'll just post it in again. Uh, it's this one here. Um, Nick, yeah, I, I agree with what you're saying because if you look at, like, let's talk about, like, if you think back to the Great Escape season, we, yeah. no, I don't think there were many fans at all that asked for Nigel Pearson out that season. No, we didn't. We, and... we wanted, we, we kept on fighting. And to be fair, that and we were season, very good. We weren't, we were really good. And we did. We were, really good. <laughs> we were unlocking quite a lot of games that season. Yeah, uh, yeah, I couldn't agree more, mate. We were so good that season in terms of performance-wise, like the 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 effort from the players. No one could question that, and it and it was just about it, the look changing, and obviously it did. So, um, finally, Nick. Obviously, people have said, "Oh, we can go on this winning run." You know, some people say we can win seven games. We can, we can win seven wins. I don't think we will, but in the next seven games, do you think we'll have enough to finish top two? My heart says yes, and if we can play like we did a little bit today, then the head will say yes as well, because I just think there's too much quality in that depth 
that if it all turns up that we can't not go on yeah. a run. Do you know what I mean? So but it, it's all dependent, isn't it? We've got I mean yeah. Ipswich you've got Southampton at half five tonight, which in an ideal world you probably want Southampton to go and do Ipswich. Um Yeah. But and then we've got Leeds Leeds Hall, which is a bit of a derby, which that's that's not tough that's gonna be a tough one for Leeds. So we just need to keep on doing what we're doing rather than focusing on Ipswich and Leeds and Southampton and whoever's up there with us to take mm-hmm. one step game at a time and we'll be all right as long as we keep on going. As long as the plays keep on going, the fans will keep on going. Yeah, uh, no, yeah, agree with you, mate. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, Nick, cheers for jumping on, mate. Much appreciated. Right, I'll good. see you in a few days. Well, yeah. go. See you in a bit. Catch you in a bit. Okay, uh, last couple of comments and then we'll get uh, Andy on for his say on the game. Um, Ipswich, Southampton Day, yeah, that'll be a that'll be an interesting game. Um, just what the doctor ordered. What three points, Paul? Is it? Uh, just what the doctor ordered. Um, if you if anybody else wants to join, like Nick and, and like Andy, will uh, will be in a second. Then you can just click that link. Um, got a few minutes left of the show. Um, our set pieces were awful today. Do you agree, lads? I mean, there's no change there, is there? Right, let's let's get Andy on. Uh, there we go. Hello, mate. You all right? Yeah, not bad. Yourself. Yes, all good, mate. I know I uh, I called your comment out there. I did see a follow-up comment about um, what you actually mean is the work, you know, pay, we pay your wages. You mean that part of it. Um, the game, let's just go with that. Let's just start with the games today. Uh, obviously, I asked Nick, and I, I we both agreed that a much, much more improved performance. Um, do you think that we've, you know, yeah, what did you think to the performance today? What, what did you think to the game in general? I, I think we played with a high tempo. I think it was a sloppy goal to concede. Um, mm. but, but the way that we... It's a favourite word about the bounce back ability that we showed after that is that we played with such a high press. I mean, you look at them, they were banked four and four. with so yeah. They didn't leave any man spare. And to try and work something out in a crowded space, we, we I think we managed to break them down quite confidently and that's what i'm taking from it is that there was a plan b where we've seen this before we've lost these games by the way where they get an early goal and they just sit back holes one of them games um, and yep, yep. countless games where we've lost it like this but we just got on the press and we didn't let up with that and that that was the thing so all round, i think it was a superb performance where where were you at mentally wise mentality wise after the Bristol City game, mate? What what were you what were you like then? Did had you had your head gone like a lot of us, or were you still confident that we we will get it over the line? I was going, yeah. Let, let put it that way. Um, not to corner phrase, but or, you know you always keep the faith and stuff. I I watched the Bristol City game in bits because I was working. Um, we we just weren't clinical enough and. I think the changes that Enzo had to make them changes today, and I think that's what put the performance on. But it's the championship; nothing's nothing's guaranteed, is it? No, no, absolutely. <laughs> um, and then, who was your man of the match today? I would. Oh, gee, there's three, and one of them got it today. Um, it's got a KDH, Mavadidi, and Fatou. I, 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 I haven't got. Scott, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't see the after. Who did get man of the match from Sky? Uh, KDH. KDH. And Mabadidi yeah. gave it him. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I thought they were good. We we spoke about Doyle a little bit with Nick. Were you uh, were you impressed? I I was impressed with him. I thought he did really well. I think he did. I think he did really well. I mean, he made a couple of mistakes, um, but he seemed in it. That was the thing. That was the thing about. It. He seemed like he he, he he was confident with the ball with the passing and the ball, he, he makes a couple of mistakes. He's human at the end of the day, but for, for a young lad, he seemed very confident with what he was doing today. And finally, uh, I'm not going to say can we do it, but will we? Do you think we will finish top two? I think we'll be, I think we'll finish number one. Yeah. I still think we'll finish number one. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I think we've got the better running. Yeah, fairs. So and we've got that one game, one game advantage. We do. I, I agree. We we've got the better run in. I just feel like Leeds are relentless, mate. That's what I know. They they drop points against Swansea. Oh, they, but, yeah, Le- Leeds are 
high tempo, constant. They don't change their style. They they're they're on you all the time. So, but then they're playing Hall later, local East versus West yeah. Yorkshire Derby. Hall trying to get that gap back into the playoffs. I don't think it's going to be easy running for Leeds now, and they've got quite a few injuries. Um, my father in law is a Leeds fan, so he's he's <laughs> sitting. He's not quite happy at the minute because they have got quite a few injuries. Hopefully that will play into our hands, but it's Leeds United. They, like I say, they play on a high tempo and got a fantastic manager and their fan base see them through all the time. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't agree more, mate. All right, cheers, Andy. Wash my mouth. I need to wash my mouth out with all them compliments. I know, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you do, mate. I shock it. All right, Andy, cheers for jumping on, mate. Much appreciated. No worries, all right, see you soon. Right, so that's the end of the show pretty much. Let, let me know quickly. Just spam the comments, your man of the match. Just spam them quickly. Get your get your comment in. Who was your man of the match? I think Dewsbury Hall will be a popular one today. Um, as Andy told us, uh, he was the man of the match chosen by Sky. Do you remember the last time Leicester had an Italian manager? I do. He won the Premier League but and only got sacked the season after. So do we win the championship and then he gets sacked the season after maybe? Uh, Locks, you keep the Leeds channel happy. Tell them they will be first. Help us pr- play with no pressure. I've been trying to do that, Tito Blue. I've been trying to do that. I even told them we were gonna, we were going to finish third, so we'll see. Uh, I feel like the whole game will be a tricky game for them. KDH or Fasawu? Uh, fa- uh. <laughs> I said Fasawu because your name's Massey. I was going to say KDH or Fatawu says Alex Massey. Um, Vestergaard was very good, Kunal says, with a sacker. Are you a Arsenal fan or a Leicester fan, Kuno? Um, Callum Barnes says, hopefully we push on from this result. Maxine says, KDH. David Fallows says, Doyle for me, man of the match. It's a rogue one. It's a, yeah, it definitely went on. Well, we're going to say under the radar, but he was, I thought he was quite obviously quite good today. But um, but yeah, not many people will be saying Doyle, David, so fair play. Simon says, 119 playing 4-3-3, 8 playing 4-2-3-1. Oz? Do you mean who, Simon? Because we've played the same formation all season, mate. Um, so I'm not sure what you mean. Sorry. Um, I'm a Leicester fan, but I hope Saka joins Leicester one day. Yeah, one maybe one day. Uh, my family are Hull fans, so we'll be watching with them. Beg they win. Um, Fatuu, hands down the best player on the pitch. Callum says, Craig says, Winks. Mark says, get in the Foxes. And Scooby also says Winks, so a couple for Winks there. And finally, Nick says KDH, man of the match, and Vardy start next game locks. Well, we've got a few days, haven't we? Is it Saturday? So, um, yeah. Fast, uh, solid again. Uh, he, he was, again? Solid again? What game were you watching last time? He's been terrible recently, but he did have a decent game today, apart from kind of mugging off the fans, which I thought was a bit stinky, so he, he can actually fuck off. But, uh, but yeah. Anyway, that's the end of the show. Much appreciated, everyone, for watching. There is 112 people. If you can all hit the like button and hit subscribe, it is free. It takes two seconds of your time. Much appreciated. It helps the channel out massively. We'll see you in a few days. I'll be live on Thursday night at half past six to talk about the upcoming Birmingham game. Thank you all. And as always, come on, you foxes.